Hello students, in this video we'll see how to use the Laplace transform to solve an integral equation. Let's consider the integral equation y of t is e to the negative t plus 2 the integral from 0 to t of y of t minus s the cosine of s ds. Notice that unlike a differential equation, the equation is a function of y. No derivatives but integrals. It can be treated exactly the same way as a differential equation can be, simply by taking the Laplace transform. So let's take the Laplace transform on both sides. When we take the Laplace transforms of both sides, we'll need the observation that this integral expression over here is the convolution of y and cosine. So this is y of t convolution cosine of t. And we'll also use the fact that the Laplace transform of f convolution g is the Laplace transform of f times the Laplace transform of g. So when I Laplace transform a convolution, I simply multiply the corresponding Laplace transforms of the functions that are being convolved. When I take the Laplace transform of our particular equation, I will have y tilde of s. The Laplace transform of e to the negative t is 1 over s plus 1 plus 2. And then I'll have the Laplace transform of y times the Laplace transform of cosine. And the Laplace transform of cosine is s over s squared plus 1. And now we have a linear equation for the Laplace transform. So this is a linear equation for y tilde of s. So we'll solve this linear equation by subtracting this to both sides. So I'll have y tilde of s and then 1 minus twice s over s squared plus 1 is equal to 1 over s plus 1. Now we can simplify this. This is y tilde of s. And this will be s squared plus 1 minus 2s over s squared plus 1. It's equal to 1 over s plus 1. And the top of this expression, y tilde of s, is s minus 1 quantity squared over s squared plus 1 is equal to 1 over s plus 1. And so this is times this expression. And so I will divide both sides of the expression by s minus 1 squared over s squared plus 1. And this will tell me that y tilde of s is equal to s squared plus 1 over s plus 1 times s minus 1 quantity squared. And we'll now use partial fractions. So this is going to be a over s plus 1 plus b over s minus 1 plus c over s minus 1 quantity squared. We can find what a is by multiplying both sides of this expression by s plus 1. So if we do so and plug in negative 1, I will have a negative 1 squared plus 1. So I'll have a is equal to 2. If I plug in negative 1 over here, I'm going to have a negative 2 squared. So that will give me a 4. So a is going to be 1 half. To find c, we multiply by s minus 1 squared. If I multiply by s minus 1 squared and plug in 1, I will have a 1 squared plus 1. That gives me a 2. Over when I plug in 1 over here, I'll get a 2. So my c is equal to 1. And now I have to find b. So to find b, we can plug in any value of s into this equation. So I've already plugged in 1 and negative 1. So if we plug in s equals 0, this we found a by plugging in s equals negative 1. We found c by plugging in s equals 1. And if we plug in 0, we'll see that 1 over 1 over 1 is equal to a minus b plus c. This will tell me that a minus b is equal to 
a minus b plus c is equal to one, that tells me that b is going to be equal to a plus c minus one. A plus C minus one is a half, so B will be equal to a half. So now our Laplace transform, Y tilde of S, will be negative, will be one half over S plus one, and then one half over S minus one, and finally one over S minus one squared. And if we inverse transform this, we will see that y of t, it will be one half e to the negative t, plus one half e to the t. And then we have to figure out how to do the inverse Laplace transform of this function over here. So notice that this function is one over s squared shifted over. The inverse Laplace transform of one over s squared is t, so this will be plus t e to the t. And we arrive at our solution. Thank you very much.